Crossroads Podcast, an SRBKL production. Hi everybody and welcome back to Crossroads. I'm Pastor Aaron and together with me, we have Senior Pastor Isaac Ling. And we are here to talk to you about AI artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And now, artificial intelligence has been such a buzzword over the couple of years, months to years. It's been known to be the next big industrial revolution, industry 4.0, right? And we've seen artificial intelligence in even in our everyday use of technology right now. We've seen it in our phones, we've yeah. seen it in our computers, now phones, yeah. we've got, you can download ChatGPT in your phone. There's yeah. Copilot on your computers. Yeah. People are using Mid Journey to to generate images, yeah. you know, but what are some of the crazy things about AI that you have heard of? Do you want to go or maybe I should? No, go? why don't you go? Okay, yeah. I want to go first. I recently came across uh, this, I went for a, this for this event. Right. And this event wanted to promote themselves. Right. So there was this person that recorded uh, herself uh, in her own language, which was English to promote this particular event. Wow. And what she did or what her team did was to, put the entire video into an AI generator and Ooh. to select a different language. Right. So she selected German, all right? Okay. And out of that, it generated herself, right. the video, in her voice, yep. but in a German language, she was speaking German right. with the right German tone. Right. And her lips were synced to that German language. So wow. it was as if they recorded her speaking German. And it was she, live. And it was live. And she does not know German. Wow. So that was so freaky. It blew my mind. Right. I'm like, if people can do that, they can do anything right now. Yeah. 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 That is true. Yeah. How about yourself, Pastor Isaac? Do you know of any crazy stories that you've heard of uh, about artificial intelligence? Yeah. This is where we pause. I don't actually. Okay. Well, it may not be crazy to me. Uh, do I know any crazy stories? Uh? No. No. Iron Dome. That's the craziest one. I've not seen that's that one. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. That's Iron Man technology right there. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. I don't I don't know any crazy stories. I don't know normal stories. Uh, okay, we'll China, resume. AI detection. Face. Oh, is, it, is that crazy? Uh, Big it's Brother's watching. So they've got the whole social... That's quite cool to me. Social, <laughs> uh, <laughs> social what credit going on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm... I'll answer. I'll answer a boring answer. Okay. We can sure. resume. Thank you. Okay. Um, crazy AI stories. I know many AI stories, but I don't think I don't think they're crazy to me. I think okay. I think yours is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool one that I've I've known. I have seen them putting AI in a, a, a robot head and then talking. Um, but I think that's pretty normal now these days. Now it is, yeah. It's yeah. pretty normal. It's pretty normal now these days. I don't know any cool. But I know I know the day to day stuff. Okay. Like the internet stuff. That's that's good enough because yeah. today's topic is about AI and okay. we really want to relate to the people we are talking about. Okay. But before we go there, let's go into something that is totally out of this world. Yeah. Right. Have you watched uh, the show AI? No. No. The is one, there a show AI? Yeah, I think the one with Tim Allen in that. No, I've not. Okay, how about iRobot? Yes, the I've one with so. yeah, Will of Smith. Course, of course, the three right. Asimov laws. Yes, yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> right. That, that is good because I want to go into that. Right. I want to talk about, there's this term called singularity. Okay. All right, it's the okay. opposite of transhumanism. Transhumanism oh. is where humans are trying to integrate with technology to right. enhance themselves. Right. Singularity is where technology is trying to become more and more like humans. Humans, okay. So tra singularity talks about having human-like intelligence. Right. That's number one. Okay. Self-awareness. Okay. That's number two. Okay. And a physical form like a human. Mm. So practically, if you are looking and thinking and seeing, you would probably see a human. Right. What are your thoughts on singularity, on robots becoming more and more like human? Oh man, I think I think it's cool to be honest. I think it's um, cool as well. Yeah. I think it's cool, <laughs> but of course it comes with, with a lot of concerns. But uh, let's talk about a cool factor. I think we can be walking around now these days, right? Uh, or at least in the future, and we we don't know if you're human or not, right? Yeah. Because you could be a robot. Yeah, that's right. Right. Until yes. I touch you and you're actually metal, right? Before, if I don't touch you, you don't mm. know, right? Um. So it's cool. At the same time, it's concerning because then it begs the question: What makes us human? Yes. What makes right. a human human? That's right. Because technically speaking, that robot could last forever. 
You True, could live right. forever yes. assuming that you've got enough battery. Yeah. Or some some sort of energy power, right? Yes, like, that's right. Like, like the Matrix. Um, but for me, uh, I think what, what's concerning is there is then no, what is the differentiation between a human and a robot? Mm. And for me, it would be the spirit. Mm. I think the spirit would differentiate between I'm created by God. Because in the Bible, we believe that God breathed his life into yes, us. His ruach. His ruach into yes. us, his breath, right? That's and right. that that breath makes us who we are. That right. differentiates us between the animals, right? Yes. The animals have a soul, which is emotions. Yes. We've got a soul, but they don't have a spirit. We have a spirit. That's right. Yes. So no matter how advanced human creation gets, no matter how intelligent, no matter how self-aware, no matter how lifelike that a person or a robot would look, he will never have the spirit. All right. If if you were to say that, okay, assuming because now these days, yeah. scientists are creating organs yeah. in labs right now, organs yeah. made made out of tissue and okay. whatnot, and they are actually growing it. So you've got hearts, you've got ears, you've got eyes that that I've heard of. You've oh. got skin. Wow. So yeah. in a way, a a robot with some artificial intelligence in it can actually be nearly like a human mm-hmm. you can have tissue flesh flesh you have flesh you can have organs right you can have a heart that's yeah. pumping blood into your streams yeah i mean uh the lifespan of the heart could be maybe 70 80 years old just that like a true. human that is true so if the heart doesn't function i mean if you can think of the battery as the the heart, the heart. As a battery then yeah, yeah you could shorten that lifespan i'm mm. um, you also have human-like intelligence. Mm. So having that, what we are saying is we can have two. You can have a real-life human. Yeah. And you can have a... Flesh. A cyborg, AI. android, I, I don't know, whatever humanoid. you call it. Humanoid. Yeah. A humanoid, yeah. right? And you might not be able to differentiate it. Mm-hmm. The only differentiating factor mm-hmm. is now the spirit of God mm. that is in the human. That's right. How will we... Yeah. Differentiate, differentiate it. How can we wow, yeah, detect the, the spirit of God that's in someone else? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think, in all honesty, what comes with humanness is actually our flawed personalities. Oh, that's good. So I'm not too sure if robots will be flawed. Like, oh. I'm not too sure if AI will be flawed. It yeah. will be so perfectly engineered that it might be too perfect. Yeah, so true. between you and me, you know, I'm right now thinking, you know, do you like me? Do you not like me? Are we having dinner later? Are we not having dinner later? Oh, we could have dinner later. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> or like, you know, uh, uh, we had an argument last week, for ex- for example, yeah. and then maybe we're, we haven't healed from the argument. But maybe with a robot, I, I won't have any of that. True. I think that would excite some people. But I'm not too sure if you'll excite me. So basically you know? what you're saying is, of course, a robot makes decision based upon... Uh, parameters and logic yes parameters and, and logic yeah. right uh, so it would take a, a set of database you take that in but the decisions are basically a yes no one yeah. zero one yeah. zero one zero yeah. so if we were to have a fight yeah. yesterday and we're having this talk today yeah. you know our emotions our yeah. body language yeah. might be slightly different yeah. but a robot might still be, be poker face full cool on. yeah, yeah. Cold. Ah, cool. Flaws. That's really good. So I think flaws is what makes us humans. So good. That's that's we, a really good answer. I didn't we, think of that. Because uh, with flaws, in our humanness, we would always want to... Uh, uh, what's the word? We would always want to overcome our flaws. Yeah, that's right. And the in the process of overcoming all our flaws is where Jesus comes in. Yes. Without that process of overcoming our flaws, you don't need Jesus. Yeah, it's true. So, so in a sense... I would know if you are real or not, a Pinocchio or not. <laughs> if, if you know, you have a snicker or you sneeze uh, or the you small have a little nu- remarks. nuances. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Because I could love a robot or the robot could love me, but it is the fights in the marriage mm. that makes the marriage richer. Yeah. That, makes, that makes them love richer. Right? Wow. Like wow. if I fall in love with a girl, I fall in love with my wife for yeah. like six months. We're so in love. No fights, nothing whatsoever. But it's the first fight, the second fight, the third fight, and maybe the, the 20th fight that makes me know that actually I really love her because wow. after the 100th fight, 
I'm still in this marriage. Wow, so good. Yeah. So I'm, I'm picking up a few things over here. Uh, being flawed, all right? Yeah. Humans are flawed in, in nature because we are still in our own human form. Yeah. We are still in our yeah. uh, in a world that, that is fallen. So yeah. yes, we are still flawed and, yeah. and that would clearly differentiate us yeah. from a humanoid. Uh, I'm also hearing feelings, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I think certain feelings can be programmed into into yeah, a robot AI. and AI. Yeah. You know, Chat GPT. Uh, that's Chat GPT 4.0 right now. Yeah. That apparently can have a little bit of feelings. Yeah, they can have character. Yeah, character. Yeah. Yes, but yeah. not feelings. Yeah. Right. So, feelings. Uh, I yeah. guess the the emotional ups and downs. Yeah. Where a, ro a robot or AI would be more. Temperam temperamented, temporal. Yeah, stable. I think yeah. I think we can program feelings. Oh, sorry, we can program character, character to understand feelings, but I'm not too sure if they can feel. Ah. I'm not too sure if AI have a soul and they definitely don't have a spirit. Yeah, right. Can they really feel? How will we ever know? Not too sure. Yeah, yeah. So because of this, I think there is also another element. I think the element of discernment. Yeah, as well. Yeah, um, because. We with a spirit, we, we carry God's spirit, we carry yeah. God's mercy, his yeah. love, his grace as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, while a, a robot with an AI might not be able to carry that. So yeah. I like to think of the famous example, right? Mm. If a boy uh, who is hungry yeah. were to steal a, a loaf of bread mm -hmm. to feed himself and also his family, which is really, really hungry, they are yeah. in destitute, they are poor, you know, what would a robot say about that? Mm -hmm. I think a robot would say, we'll look at it logically and thinking, ethically, it's wrong to yeah. steal. Yeah. And therefore, the boy is wrong. Yeah. While a human would say, yes, it's wrong. Yeah. But, but there is a but. That is true. Because of the grace and mercy, there's a discernment in there. Yeah. So yes, there might be a punishment, but it might not be a, as heavy a punishment as someone who is just stealing for the sake of stealing. Yeah. So the discernment part. I think I think we can even program that into AI at some mm. point in the future. Yep, Maybe yeah. we can program that in, but that is that is that is one example out of a, a billion examples that we could That's give, right. right? Yeah. So again, the differentiation between it's just a spirit. How would we be able to discern what is right and wrong? The discernment only comes from our conscience, our spirit. Mm. That spirit is linked to the spirit of God. Yes. And God downloads that into us. Yes. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Without that download, we're, yeah, we're just AI. Yeah. We're just AI. So this brings us to basically what you are saying is the yeah. Imago Dei. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We are created in the likeness in the image of God. Yeah. And hence when when we go around, we carry we carry God within us. Yeah. Right. And God has placed that upon us. Yeah. So and that is the main differentiating factor versus a humanoid. That is true. Wow. And and the Bible says uh to those who worship, they must worship me in spirit and in truth. Yeah. You see, if if I'm sitting next to you and you are AI, full AI, and we're in a church service and we're both worshiping we're both worshiping in truth because I could put truth in you. Yes, I can right. put I can put a billion Asimov laws yes. in you, right? I can put truth in you. But the difference between me and you is I'm worshiping in spirit. Mm. You don't have that spirit. That's right. God will not be able to relate to you, download himself to you, speak to you, have a relationship with you yes, because you're right. not spirit. I'm spirit. Right. I will be able to feel God, his heartbeat, beat his will, his emotions. I can feel God. Like when God says, I want to refather you, oh, that's wow. information to yes. AI. True. But to me, that's relationship. And I think oh. that's that's the big differentiator. And I and AI will never be able to have a relationship with God. Yeah, that's so good. So because yeah. of that, I, I think we can say that humanoids, AI, uh, they can be good uh, helpers yeah. to humans, yeah. but they cannot be companions. They can't replace us. They can't replace us. They, yeah. We can't. We can't rely on them as yep. a companion or a friend as well. Yeah. Because hey, you you do not have a spirit. I I'm it's just not possible in a yeah. in a in a spiritual sense. In a spiritual sense. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. That's let's, really let's close this session right now because <laughs> if not, we'll be going down the Woo! rabbit hole. Uh, I think what we can conclude is that hey, AI, robots, technology, they cannot become human. Yeah. And one of the things that they're missing is the Imago Day. That's right. All right. And yeah. 
it is impossible for them to have the imago day because yeah. the imago day only comes from God yeah. and is given to Adam and Eve and down to us. Yeah. It's given to his sons and daughters, yeah. us, and not created things. Yeah. So because of that, yes, AI, robots, technology, they cannot become human and therefore they would not be able to replace human if you're thinking that. Yep, that is true. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe for more Crossroads content. Look forward to new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you need to speak to a pastor or if you're looking for a church to call home, come visit SIBKL.